Uh, we've got a promise that we're going to make it. Right. And then uh, Brother Sparks and uh, <coughs> the things he was saying. And uh, Brother Brad. And, uh, and I thought uh, we, uh, the Lord has got a plan. And the devil will try his best to throw that plan off course. But if God's planned it, then can the devil really do anything about it? I begin to think about that. I thought uh, this morning uh, we were uh, leaving the church and, and uh, Brother Lester and Sister Laura had been wanting to find them a place of their own. They live there in a trailer behind my father in law that belongs to him. And uh, he doesn't charge them no rent to live there, and that seems like a pretty good deal. But the problem is, because he ain't getting no money, he don't want to put no money into it. Right. And because it's not theirs, they don't want to put no money into it. Right. And so we know what happens if you don't put no money into what you live in. Right. It begins to run down. But uh, right. uh, but Colin was down there the other night, and and uh, he's and uh, and I didn't know uh, that he'd been praying for Lord Lester to find them a house. And uh, Sister Kat said, they come out here and, and he'll walk around, Lord, you know that they need a better house. And, and uh, he's going to give them a house and help them find the right house. And he's praying diligently for that. Yes, he is. And uh, he was down there the other night and, and he said, Lord, what's wrong with your house? And uh, she was telling him some things that's wrong with it. And he said, well, don't worry about it. You ain't going to have to live here much longer either. <laughs> uh, and... Uh, you know, that's faith. Yeah. And uh, the faith of a child. Yeah. And, uh, and I thought, uh, uh, Sister Kathy's telling me about that this morning on the way home. And and, uh, and I said, you know, and, and I said, uh, you know, because, you know, I don't have a person. You heard Russ Parks say he don't have a personality uh, that, that it, you know, uh, he, he's withdrawn because he can't hear good. Uh -huh. uh, and, and I don't have that outgoing personality. I, I'm, I'm a little more than him. I can uh, talk to people and, and uh, get out, and, and, uh, and that's just become lately. But Colin can talk to anybody. Uh, he can start a conversation with anybody. And, uh, and I thought, he's got such a forward personality about him. And, and, and I thought, you know, God could use that someday. Uh -huh. and, and I told Mr. Captain on my own, I said, you know, and, and God's got a plan and, and I thought, but the devil's doing all he can to derail that child. That's right. Uh, That's right. To get him off course. Right. But I begin to think about that, and I thought, but if God's got a plan, right. uh, then what can the devil really do about it? Right. Uh, he might try to derail that plan, but I thought he can't. That isn't what I'm preaching about. Uh, I may not even go with what I'm going with. I've got on my mind here tonight. Uh, but, the, but the way this service has been going, I've been thinking about God's got a plan. Yes, he does. And, and But the devil can't derail God's plan. Right. He can try. But he can't. Brother, Brother Brad was talking about Jacob and, and uh, him being a surplant. Uh, uh, really, that's a sore of discord. Right. I mean, that's what he done. I mean, every time you look at Jacob, there was always some kind of discourse around him. Uh, I mean, he was always deceiving. He was, he was a deceiver. Yeah. And, and, and he was born with his hand on the heel of his brother, Brother Brad was saying. Uh, his brother was born first, and, and, and Jacob had his hand on his heel. Right. Uh, but we can see that, that, you know, it wasn't meant for Jacob to ever receive the blessing. Because he was the second born. But, but God had a plan for Jacob. Right. Uh, God had a plan to turn things around. Jacob had to go through a lot. Uh, I thought he had to deceive his father. He had to had to uh, to uh, deceive his brother into selling his birthright and, and all the things that went along with Jacob. But it all came down to whenever Jacob was willing to wrestle with God, wrestle with a messenger from God for a blessing. I thought that the, that the, the thing that it seemed like it was not possible, Jacob got a blessing. Sure, he got the blessing from, uh, from his father. Uh, but I thought it more than anything, Jacob got a blessing from God. And I thought that whatever the situation might be tonight, whatever it looks like, and it, and it seems like circumstances can't turn around, I thought if we just hold on, God can turn things yes, he around. Yes, he can. I thought, I, I've got encouragement here tonight, Brother yes. Bill. I, I've been uplifted. Uh, I thought uh, there's some things, and, and we know, uh, that uh, uh, that my children aren't, aren't doing what I, I would, uh, you know, you can't make them. 
Uh, they're going th doing things that, uh, that just terribly uh, bothers me. And when I see the route that they're going, and, and, and I, but, uh, but this morning on the way home, uh, whenever we begin to talk about it, and, and, and the Lord just, just gave me encouragement that he's got a plan. Yeah. And I thought that Brother Sparks got up tonight and, and began to talk about the, uh, whenever they come back and, and kill them the fatty calf. I oh, thought God's got a plan. Yeah. Not just mine, but yours. I oh, God has got a plan for this church. And I thought we've got to get up. And I thought we've got to uh, be like Jacob. We've got to be willing to wrestle. Hold on, woman. And that's what it takes. Oh, but God has got a plan. Oh, yeah, there's some more that could be a great asset to this congregation. Right. Oh, they're already in the church. Some of them are already in the church. Uh, they, they've, uh, they, they've made a turn around in their lives. And I thought to, but they could be a great asset to this congregation. Oh, Sister Minnie's got a boy that would be a great asset to any church. Yes, sir. I mean, he can play music. He knows... Uh, uh, sound. I mean, if you if it's got to, you know, and and I thought to, I don't know where he's going, or what kind of church it is. But I thought, boy, I'd like to have you. Yes, I'd like to be able to worship with you. I, I grew up with Jay. Yes. He was younger than me, but known him since he was that tall. Uh, we used to pick on him. He wore the same coat for about three winters. We told him, if you don't grow, you ain't ever gonna get a new coat. Uh, and he's just a little bitty fella. And and I thought to, uh, but I, but I thought, wouldn't it be nice to just be able to to worship with him, Sister Marsh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, I thought God's got a plan. Right. And I thought we've got to be willing to wrestle like Jacob did yeah. in order for God to be able to fulfill the plan. Oh. No matter where yeah. Jacob went from then on, we've heard it. People recognize there was something different about Jacob yeah. because he was willing to wrestle. Right. He was willing to hold on. He was yeah. blessed right. by God. Right. I thought this ain't what I had in mind to preach. But I thought uh, if it don't spoil it, then, then we use it some other time. <coughs> but I thought, what is it God's got for you tonight? Right. Right. What's God got for you tonight? Oh, God. Have you lived a life of like Jacob, a, a discourse? Seemed like every time you got around the thing, it all just went to chaos. Oh, God. I mean, Jacob, I mean, everything he done was chaotic, Brother Brad. Right. Yeah. But I thought God had a plan. Right. God had a direction. Right. For Jacob's life. Yes, he did. I thought whenever he changed his life, or after he wrestled, he told him his no more name would be Jacob, but his name would be Israel. And oh, we can see throughout the Bible that uh, whenever Jacob would get discouraged and things would happen, and, and we see that he'd go back to that old name Jacob again. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. During his discouragement. Yeah. How many remembers the message that Brother, Brother Asher preached? Yes, sir. Whenever, uh, 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 when Israel got his boys back. Yes, sir. Yeah, he got revived. Whenever they, whenever Joseph sent back word, and then they came back and they told him, you know, Joseph's alive down here. Yeah. Uh, he's over in Egypt, and, and he's governor over the place. Yeah. Jacob didn't believe him. But they went back. When Jacob looked out, and he seen the wagons coming, <laughs> yeah. the Bible says, and Jacob got his boys back. Yeah. Jacob revived. Israel, I mean, the Bible says Israel got his boy. Israel spoke. Yeah. Uh, uh, and Brother Ashley preached Jacob got Israel got his voice back right. and I thought uh, we can look around and I thought we can feel a stir here tonight yeah. uh, I don't know about you but uh, I've never been around a whole bunch of wagons but I've heard a couple of wagons roll that they made some noise right, yeah. and I thought uh, uh, we've been feeling a little noise around here we've been yeah. feeling a little shaking of the ground around here tonight yeah. I thought we've to see some wagons roll in yeah. and I thought it's time for us to get out of our discouragement and get the voice back and proclaim what God is doing for us yeah. But we've been sitting around way too long. And I thought when I point at you, I got three more pointing right back at my chest. On, we've all been sitting around. It seems like we're waiting. Now, I told you, <coughs> Brother Art was here, and he came over that night, and he prayed for me right along about here. Uh -huh. and, and, he, and he told me, he said, God's got a desire. God has got a plan, and God's wanting to use you in the last days. Well, I... I'm not the pastor. Uh, I'm just the assistant. I'm here to do whatever is needed. Mow the yard, clean the toilets, whatever. I, I'll do it. But <clears throat> I thought, well, Lord, you know, in the last days, Brother Sparks, time lasts, and, and he retires, whatever happens, and I think, then you're going to use me. 
And, and it seemed like Brother Harold, I just got to sit and wait. The Lord, well, Lord, when you're ready to use me, I'm willing to use you for you to use me. Mm -hmm. But I began to pray. And the Lord said, These are the last days. Right. These are the last days. And I want to use you right now. Yes. Right. And I thought I had to be willing to get up yes. and begin to allow God to use me. Right. And I thought a lot of us were sitting around and we're saying, Lord, there'll be a time and there'll be a place that you can use me. Right now. I thought God's not wanting a time and a place now. later. It's now. It's now. It's now. Right. God's wanting us to move now. Yeah. So that when we get up there, and that number, that no making number, Woo! begins to praise God yeah. for his salvation. Yeah. Yeah. And then that great multitude of angels says, Amen. Yeah. Uh, then, then they can say, because we can be part of they yeah. that came through great tribulation, my yeah. friend. I thought I want to be part of them. Yeah. I thought I don't want to be sitting down here waiting and miss out on it. Right. Because if you ain't in the action, then you're not going to see the battle. Right. And I thought if you ain't facing the battle, then you're not in the war. Right. And if you ain't in the war, then you might as well be at home. Mm. And I thought if you're at home, then you're gonna miss it all together. Yeah. That's right. Amen. And I thought I want to be where the action is. Right. I thought I want to be willing and ready whenever God calls. So they get the song. <coughs> I hope this service has been different, but it's been good. Right. right. I thought because God is wanting to do something. And I thought he's wanting us to be willing to do what he wants us to do. I thought whatever it is that's causing us to be withdrawn, it's time for us to get all that behind us and start pressing forward. I thought that I've said it, there's some here tonight that I have seen the power of God move on. And it's been a while. And I thought the same God that moved it in Moving in. Right. I know we're getting over, and we might not jump as high as we used to, but oh, we can still jump. Right. Even if it's getting our feet off the ground that much, we can say we jumped. Right. How about the, and we might not run as fast as we used to, but if we can shuffle our feet down that aisle back, at least we're moving for God right. and not sitting and dying for the devil. Right. That's right. I, I don't know about you, but I'd rather be moving for God yeah. than sitting and dying and going to waste. Right. Around the enemy, the only one I said, you know, I said you can't do. The only one that can derail God's plan for your life is you. You can derail. It. You can get it off course. But I thought God still got a plan. Yes. And I thought nobody else can get you off course but you. God can use other people's instruments to try to cause you to get off course. If you've got a determination, you can stay on course. Right. But you've got to have a determination. Right. And I thought that's one thing that we're if we're not careful, we're we're losing. Right. Is we're losing our determination. Right. And I thought we've got to be determined. I thought <clears throat> Brother Sparks mentioned the election. When Trump was running, he ran on the slogan, Make America Great. And uh, I do some surveys online, and uh, they send me a survey, and uh, they ask me, do I feel like the course of the nation is on track or whatever? And uh, I, can't, I still can't say that I feel like the course of the nation is right where it's on track like it ought to be. That's right. But I can say that I feel like there have been some changes made. It's getting the same. Yeah. But I also think this nation will never be back to where it was. Yeah. But I thought we as a church are one that's got to get back to where it was. That's right. The nation may not ever get back to the liberties and the justices and all the things that we used to have because we're too close to the end. Right. But I thought we're too close to the end for the church to be losing. I, I read in the news yesterday, and I'm coming, if they get the song. That uh, Russia voted, their, their Supreme Court voted, and uh, they they stopped the Jehovah's Witnesses from practicing their religion in Russia. And I read that and I thought, praise God. But then I realized the impact yes, sir. of that. Mm -hmm. That's one religious freedom. Yeah. That's their right to worship 
their religion the way they feel. That's right. So the next one is could be they're going to get rid of the uh, the ones because they said that they were a a, a threat to their democracy. Their 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 whatever it is they got them there. They really got a democracy, but uh, they, they was a threat to them. And uh, so now, uh, if there is any Pentecostals in there, because we are so uh, forward with our doctrine and our dress codes and all the things, then we're going to be a threat to them. Uh -huh. right. And then it's going to be the Baptist. And all of us get it all the way back down to the same uh, thing that they had back before uh, the socialism. And the Soviet Union is going to, is, is taking, well, they're, they're going to take back over. Right. And, and those brothers over in Ukraine, that when Brother Thompson, and when, you know, they, they told Brother Thompson that, that they felt like that it was just a short while that they could have their religious freedom. They prophesied. They, they prophesied. And I thought, so we, now we see Russia taking and kicking Jehovah's Witness out, stopping passing out all the literature. And I thought, but what's next? Yeah, right. Because the end is rapidly yeah. coming. Right. And I thought we're sitting here and we're allowing things to keep us from pressing forward and doing what God would have us to do. Let's take us a song tonight. Let's pray. I thought, let's not, let's not be allowing things to keep us from getting through to where we know we need to be with God. Right. Uh, there, all of us know where we need to be with God. Uh, and, and I thought, and, and, and when we get there, then we can move up just a little bit further. Right. Because this is a, a, it's a progressive thing. We never get all that we can obtain. There's always more. I, I remember Sister Stell, she'd get up and testify. And, and she'd say, talk about how good this was. And then she'd say, she wanted more of it. And, and, and I thought all my life, I, I looked at that woman's life. And, and, I, and I seen the life that she lived. But she was desiring more of it. And, and up till she got so feeble that she couldn't go, she was desiring more of it. Yeah, right. But yet with some of us that sit here, we became satisfied yeah, all right. with hope and where we're at. Right. I thought, I'm not satisfied with no. hope where I'm at. No. I'm going to go on. I'm going to press forward. And I thought, Jacob, he had his brother foot. But that wasn't enough. He came out and he deceived his brother. He got his birthright. He, he went and deceived his father and got his brother's blessing. But that still wasn't enough. He wanted the blessing from God. Whenever he came into contact with a being from heaven, and he was willing to wrestle all night long. When he said, let me go, it's almost day. I'm not letting go that he blessed me. I thought, I won't let go that he blesses me. Is that good as a song tonight? Let's pray.